We begin tonight in Spencer where police are investigating an officer involved shooting. The Worcester District Attorney's Office has identified the man killed as 49 year old Walter Lind of East Brookfield. Investigators say it began with a domestic dispute. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us live now with the latest. Roslyn. Olivia, this is not the first time Lind has had a run in with police. The Worcester Telegram and Gazette reports he had a standoff with police in South Carolina in 2014 and was involved in a police chase in North Brookfield in 2001. Investigators on scene at this house in Spencer Monday morning after an officer involved shooting. This doesn't happen here often, so, or at all. So that's why it's more shocking. The Worcester County District Attorney's Office says it started as a call for a domestic dispute Sunday night. Officer Brandon Fulham encountered the suspect and tried to stop him, but he sped off. A chase with speeds up to 80 miles per hour followed before ending in this driveway. A white minivan came like flying past us and a cop was pa passing by to with it. We saw it pulled into that driveway. The DA's office says 49 year old Walter Lind of East Brookfield was shot and killed by the Spencer police officer. They say Lind pulled this replica gun on the officer. It was about 830 when I was on the porch and that's all I saw was emergency responders. I'm just about three houses down. The Worcester District Attorney's Office says the suspect was ordered to stop and drop the gun in the driveway behind me. They say the officer fired one shot and the man collapsed before reaching the home. So all of a sudden I heard the police coming up the road from far away because you can hear everything up here. It's so quiet. And then I just heard one gunshot and that was it. Shane Sweeney has lived on the road for three years and says although the road is very quiet, the incident doesn't surprise him. Today's society, no, <laughs> sadly. Maybe 20 years ago it would, but not in today's world. Officer Fulham is a six year veteran of policing. The last year with Spencer Police, he has been placed on administrative leave. State Police assigned to the Worcester DA's office is continuing to investigate. Olivia. All right, Rosalind, thank you for following.